Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to quickly discuss about the Playwright architecture and compare it with Cypress and Selenium. Okay, so this was the old diagram that I drew, but let me create another one. This is for the Selenium that I used last time when we were doing the Cypress uh, test automation series. Okay, so if we go ahead and see how the Playwright architecture differs from Selenium and Cypress. Okay, so the first thing we need to understand is how exactly the architecture of Selenium is. Okay, so we know on a very high level, we know that in Selenium, we have the IDs. Okay, so basically, you know, the client libraries, so you can write the code in a Java, okay, or Python or any supported uh, language programming language in Selenium. And then you have a web browser drivers, right? So browser drivers, okay. So for example, if you have already came through the Selenium background, you have the Chrome driver, Gecko driver, right? We have to download those binaries either manually or automatically. Now in Selenium 4, there is a lot of dependency management already available. So you don't have to download those libraries manually. Selenium handles that. Or in the pre older versions, we have used a Selenium web driver manager, right? So web driver manager, which automatically downloaded those browser drivers, right? So if say, for example, you have chose Java programming language, you will write your tests in Java, okay, with Java programming language. These tests will then, uh, if you execute those, these will then communicate with the browser driver and then that will launch the real browser. So for example, Chrome, okay, so that will launch a Chrome browser and your test case will execute in the Chrome browser. Okay, if you are trying to execute in a Firefox browser, you need to have a Gecko driver. Okay, so you select that you want to execute in the Firefox browser, it will need a Gecko driver, a Gecko driver, a browser driver, and then that will launch a Firefox browser and execute your test cases. Now, how is this architecture, right? So previously, in the older version of Selenium, there was a JSON wire protocol as well. But in Selenium 4, that has been removed, which is a good good thing in terms of architecture as well. So how is this communication happening from the ID from your test code to the browser driver? It is through the HTTP protocol. Okay, so HTTP protocol you used to for, for every line of code or every line that used to be executed, you basically send that request, the connection gets established and the response is sent from the say for example you're trying to launch the browser okay so you send that particular uh, the the execution that particular command that launched the browser the browser gets launched the response is sent as an http response and then the next request has been sent as an http request okay so this is how high level selenium architecture is okay now this is from the interview perspective okay how if you for example you have to explain differences between the Selenium architecture playwright and Cypress and what will be the advantages uh, in terms of your project needs you can basically go ahead and explain this on a wide now if we're coming back to the Cypress okay Cypress architecture now Cypress architecture I just got this image from Google okay Google search and if you'll see that Cypress actually runs within the browser and I have explained the Cypress architecture in detail in the Cypress series so you can refer to that particular video if you want to learn complete details right but you will see that cypress is a node.js you know library basically it runs as a process and then it starts your browser wherein you have the test in one iframe and then another iframe it launches the application okay and then your test execute within the browser itself so basically there is a websocket connection through the through the process and then with the proxy within this node.js process these http request and responses are being Share, right so again here it's a you know http request and response that goes from proxy to the application right but then there is a web socket connection from the cypress test to the cypress process this is how the cypress architecture is now the core difference between the selenium and cypress architecture is you can see that we have a browser driver there is a there is a http pro protocol and then there is an intermediary thing which is browser driver that drives different browsers okay from your test code it could be in java it could be in python okay and in cypress everything your test and your application run within the browser okay now coming to the playwright architecture okay coming to playwright architecture how is it basically different so you'll see in playwright what happens is now playwright is a node.js library right built on javascript so there is a playwright server okay so we can say let me here so there is a playwright server in between 
okay so something like you know what we have this browser driver so there is a playwright um please pardon my writing okay so there is a playwright server and then we have different now playwright also supports different language bindings right so you can write your code in java okay your test in java or in python all right or in javascript or in typescript right so there are different language bindings now this playwright server okay how the communication happens is basically from your test code okay so from your test code so for example i have chosen a java programming language to write my test cases okay so the connection will get established it now in selenium it was http protocol right but in playwright the difference is that from your client from your test okay the web socket connection gets established okay so web socket all right so web socket connection gets established with the playwright server and how is it different how is the web socket connection different because in the http case what happens that one command has been sent the response has been received the connection gets you know uh, terminated second again a request gets sent so http request and then response the command is again or the request or the connection gets terminated now in the web socket connection basically it doesn't matter which language binding you are using the connection gets established one time with the server and then whatever commands need to be executed for your test will get executed will get sent and then to, to the playwright server and then it will launch the browser okay so for example you are you are running your test cases in the chrome browser chrome browser will get get launched and all the test cases until all the steps in your test are executed that connection is not going to disconnect okay that connection is not going to get terminated okay because it's a web socket connection and because of this the reconnection or re-establishing the connection with each command or each step of your test is not required right and that is why the playwright test cases are less flaky and you can see the architecture is much difference as compared to the cypress architecture as well now cypress runs the application test within the browser okay but cypress uh, playwright doesn't do that playwright has a server which establishes the websocket connection from your client side so for example your your test okay if you you consider this as an id say for example you're writing your test in uh, the java id say clip so whatever client will whatever test you have written here you'll try to establish the connection with web socket connection one time the connection has been established all the requests that will be sent all the test steps that need to be executed will be executed and this connection will only be disconnected when the client or server says to disconnect the web socket connect that is why the playwright test cases or playwright is less flaky as compared to selenium right now you can imagine with just this simple concept that if we have to establish connection with each and every command to be executed and then again that gets terminated that is in itself a lot of overhead right so that is where basically because playwright being the new tool they have analyzed all the shortcomings that were there in the selenium uh, all the shortcomings that are that were there in the cypress and then how to overcome that and that's how they have came up with this particular architecture so that it's faster it's less flaky and it addresses any of the shortcomings that were there in the previous tools now not every tool will fit every possible purpose there might be few things that are only possible in one particular tool right so this is these type of uh, analysis is required and understanding is required so that you can basically see how or which particular tool fits in a particular context and whatever is best suited for your context and project so you go ahead and use it right so this is uh, the brief of the architecture of playwright and comparison between selenium and cypress there are a lot many things that you can go ahead google the playwright website cypress website and do the comparison there will be a lot of content and in-depth content if you are willing to learn more detail and comparison around the architecture but overall high level from the test architecture point of view i have already covered which will be good enough for your interviews and to explain within your interviews as well okay so that's all for this video in the next video let's quickly go ahead and start setting a playwright on our machine so we can go ahead and start writing our first test case with playwright that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching